All right, thank you once again for joining us at Matoka TV Studio. All right, in this video you are about to watch now, Apostle Arme Osai explain how you can survive, how you can overcome any spiritual warfare. And I assure you, this clip will bless your life so much. All right, over to you, sir. I was, I was talking the other day and I was showing some deliberate things that God built into our lives in order to ensure that we go beyond self. I had to stop. I had to stop because people accuse me that my messages are too hard. Is it true? <laughs> when you want to, when, when the goal of what you are doing is to build capacity and to produce mature Christians, you can't talk like Father Christmas. If you want everybody in the neighborhood to like you, sell ice cream. Just look for ice cream and sell. What did he say? Receive it, the Holy Ghost. That's the basis of sufficiency. So God, we need to turn your eyes to see this Holy Ghost. Because all the resources you need to prosecute life are in Him. Your mind is weak. As intelligent as you think you are. Your mind is so weak. Demons can even manipulate you and encode your mind with their own data. And you'll be running their script and not know. That's why Paul began to talk about the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. That knowledge of Christ there is not something you can study. It's not something you can learn. It's not something you can be taught. It's something that is handed out by the Spirit fresh for you. You are a recipient of that kind of feedback when you have this breath. Do you realize that when God said I should resign and I resigned one year exactly after I resigned, the government scrapped my office. So even unbelievers in my family know that I hear God. So this one, he hears God. Yes. Meanwhile, I'm the one that they mocked because I was a preacher. And they mocked me for years. Because when I was three years, four years, I used to read the dailies. I used to read newspapers and argue politics. So I had a gift of intellectual capacity. And they were expecting that I will, I will lecture, become a professor. And indeed, I was ready to do that. And then the Lord now said that, of all the things written concerning you, lecturing is not one of them. I said, what? So then they now heard that I was a preacher. Okay. So at the end, you became a preacher. So, and I had no, nothing to show them that it was a good part. You know, don't try to explain yourself to anybody. Eh? Okay. <laughs> don't, you, don't, you, are, you are relieved from that responsibility. It was an honor that God did. Then they now heard I was in the early nursery. They said, mm, yeah, we said it. And then when I was supposed to go to a high place, I now resigned. They said, which is after you? Which is? <laughs> but you know what? I got that wisdom from the Holy Ghost. At first, it looked like foolishness. Until I met my colleagues in the bank. Then I realized I left at the right time. You know, when I was there, they knew I was of good behavior. I would not cheat. I would not take bribe. They didn't know I was a preacher. Yeah? I was undercover. You know why? Because in the night, I would escape and go and preach and come back on Monday with the first flight. you never know. I cast out devils there. And then on the first flight, I'm back to Lagos. And you see me on my table. <laughs> and even people that I was older than in age and in rank, when I see you, I will greet you. I will 
fell down. You know why? I didn't need to have problems from the office. I will bend down for everybody so that they will just leave me. Then I will focus on what I came to do. Do you understand? That was how I was operating. Ah, see, you are so, so I'm sorry. I'll bend down. I will need that. Say, no, you are not the problem. Go. I, that going, I'm going to Sokoto. That is, I've moved. On Monday, you see me on the seat. But I have cast, I casted out. In fact, I was in Sokoto preaching. When I told them, switch off your phone. Somebody insulted me in her mind. She became dumb. She lost the ability to speak. She, yes, in Sokoto. She became dumb. I, I was not leaving there. I said, I'm, I don't have anything to do with her being dumb. Leave me. The people now gathered at me. The prayer point changed. I started speaking in tongues for 15 minutes, then her tongue opened, she started speaking. The fear of God came on Muslims. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I, let's leave that matter. Let's leave that matter. Let's leave. Let's leave it. So, so. Because they will say, ah, this place, none of our colleagues can walk there. I will tell my, my manager, post me there. That's the place they will take your seat, put in the shrine over the weekend and then on, on Sunday night they'll restore it. You sit there, you become paralyzed. And I refuse to sit there. Rather using the visitor seat. They now noticed, they now took that one when they restored it. I wasn't sitting there again. I started using my real seat. So the man came and said, we are all bad people, including you. <laughs> All of us are bad. We are wicked people. But we, we don't know which of the fraternities you belong to. Because we, I know we, the way you are behaving, you belong to something. So I say, it's so I belong to something. So they say, which one? I say, ah, it's the, it's the highest one. They say, the highest one? I say, ah, yeah, the highest That's how they, they left me. I say, that man. So my colleagues used to... But they did not know I was until I reason. Do you know that they are begging to see me now? Yes. Beg to see me now. Okay. So you wait. You don't need to know that. You don't need to know that. You see, I was incubating some spiritual capital. Those days when I walked in Lagos, I, I don't eat. Because it's only the bad places that they send me to work. I, I fast to go to work, not to go for crusades. So that I'll be sensitive to the Holy Ghost to know what to do because the environment was wicked. In, uh, in, in my office, the, the security man called me and said, Ah, they are burying something in your office. That means they broke the cement and put the, that is fresh blood. I said, Try to look at the thing to know if it's a human being. Check the thing that fresh blood is coming out, that they are. Yes, I walked there. I walked there before. And nothing happened to me. So I've been in situations of warfare. I can tell you about warfare. I can tell you about how you need to discipline yourself in times of battle. I stayed in it for long. In the office, I was fighting. On the crusade ground, I was fighting. Everywhere, fight. One day, we wanted to travel from Lagos to Ilorin. We had... Accident scenarios nine times. And I was going with one of the disciples I was training. So he now asked me, Why? <laughs> Why? Because he could not speak. Because I was not talking. I was not discussing it. So he could not discuss it. So his fear was here. Like, what? That's how we were. As he couldn't hold it. He now asked me, Why is this journey like this? I said, There is a whole where we are going to preach and he's the one that has spotted that we are coming and he sent demons to intercept us i said but don't worry we will almost have accidents but we will arrive at the place <laughs> so when i told him that he now calmed down and he knew that even though we are going to we will not hit that was how we arrived at a lorry and we came and i began to preach and i preached and almost gave the microphone 
and I, I didn't see the person that I was I told the guy about then I held the microphone I just looked around the hall like this, and the power of God came upon that guy he was charmed 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 to the teeth when he came to that place and God embarrassed him when we traveled back we slept in the vehicle because it was so smooth that that we slept and as we are going back to Lagos, he is going into a free life. I continue my fasting because my office is, is rigged with darkness. It was not through a Bible study outline that I survived. I met the living Jesus. So some of the things I told you is out of that thing. That when they checked me in the crystal ball, they couldn't see me. And nobody nobody ever knew where i was staying and when i was there i was there alone i told my wife stay back in Benue state she didn't understand why one time she said how should the wife stay far away from the husband I said you are welcome <laughs> yeah i think it was one month she stayed she, she ran away because they visit me in the house spiritually yes those are the days when I've seen demons. I saw a demon. It was called, uh, what did I call that demon? I've forgotten. I got some education on it when I was in it. The, the hands, it's a short, it's a dwarf. But the hands are big, as if it's two times the hands that that dwarf should have. Once the thing lands in the room, you will not be able to breathe. I fought it for nine months. My true story has not come out of Yes, I fought it for nine months. I fought it for nine months. I will pray for four hours before the thing will be weakened and the thing will left, left my head. Anytime I'm in Lagos, it will come back. So when I'm not in Lagos, I'm free. So I used to accept the invitation so that every weekend I would travel. So that I can sleep. Sleep. And then come back. And refire. For warfare. One day I now travel to Enugu. And the demon came to me in any good day. I was, I addressed here. That was the day the Holy Spirit spoke. And he gave me the strategy on how to do, to cut it off. It took 35 minutes before he left my house. The authority upon my life increased. I have stories to tell. I have stories to tell. Wars, wars. You, something comes and your breath is going. So when I went home, I went home for a weekend to visit my my wife she now told me that her bread goes your what <laughs> but you know i didn't explain i knew that they wanted to destroy me and my household and if what i am teaching you has not worked i will not be here teaching you there's nothing in wales that can destroy me nothing here the dragon at your gate it's, it's too small. I saw your dragon there. Mm. <laughs> As the Father has sent me, so send I you. And he breathed on them and said, What? Receive ye the Holy Ghost. If this were the last breath he gave them, they would have been strong enough, but he didn't stop here. Can we go to the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2? Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. Where are my technical people? And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly they came a sound how was the sound as a rushing mighty wind this is the third breath wind feel the house this dimension can capture a location oh you are not with me hmm? i know this wind it can come into your bedroom you don't know it? All right. Will we ask God to send it here today? Yeah. Ah. Ah. 
a sound from heaven. He had blasted with his nostrils again. And the wind came. And the Bible said that he filled all the house where they were sitting. This time, the wind came with an investment that could generate power. The last time, the previous time, the wind came with an investment that we should live by. So that one is the anointing that is within. And this one is the anointing that is upon. This one operates upon you. It gives you sight beyond your eyes. It gives you hearing beyond your ears. It gives you utterance beyond communication. It gives you power beyond your hands. The Bible says that it, there was a sound that came from heaven and it was like a rushing mighty wind and it filled the house where they were sitting. Oh my God. Oh my God. This one came from heaven. And the place it came from, are you there? Are you with me? You know that when Jesus rose from the dead, he went, he ascended into heaven before he gave gifts to men. So the gifts he gave you, the gifts he gave me for ministry, the gifts he gave me to function by were released from heaven. Why? They were released from a place that is far above principalities and powers. So anytime I put those gifts to work, it will defeat the devil. This is the basis of our authority. You are operating from heaven. From a place that is beyond the technology of, of demons and devils. Ooh. The, things, the things that some of us have come out of. Our assistant. is the story of how men die. Many people die. But we had something that came from heaven. Jesus released that one, the breath. He released it on earth. This one, he went into heaven before he released it from there. He gave gifts unto men. So the, the wind came from heaven and the sound of it was like a rushing mighty wind. It was another breath from heaven. <laughs> because as I'm talking to you now, it's forming, it's forming on my head. It's forming on my head. This one can come into your bedroom. It can take over the room. Because it's not, it's not allergic to, to, to location. Because the Bible said that it filled the house where they were sitting. It filled it. Filled it. So if we know how to stir this one up, it can come into the location. I copy that. We stir it up. It can come to your office. I remember those days I used to travel a lot. I was working in the city of Abuja. So every Friday I hop on, on, on public transport and I'm going somewhere in the north to preach. Every Friday, every Friday, you'll not see me in Abuja. I was, I, I traveled 12 midnight, I traveled 2 a.m. I'll be moving in the night. And on Sunday, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 12 midnight, I'm back. On Monday, I'm on my computer. So one time it was it was like 12 midnight. A strange man was standing by the roadside. And the driver, he wants money, he wants to fill his car up. So he stopped and picked the strange guy. And the strange guy, he, he came, his his smell was strange. And he sat into the vehicle. And he made contact with me here. Because this transportation that we're talking about, if you people are even as big as mighty ego, you must be four at the back. <laughs> you must be four at the back. It doesn't matter the size. So those of us that were as slim as, as the, we, we suffered, you, you, can, you, you, you can be like this all through. All through. <laughs> the moment the guy touched me, boom, he shouted. He went to renew his charms. And when we made contact, the charms died. And the man shouted on the driver and asked him to stop. And that 12 midnight, he left. And he wasn't traveling. And the 
The driver looked at I, I was very innocent. If you see how I look those days, I, you won't think I can do anything. But you know what? There was something from heaven that I carried. The guy thought he was 45. That was his best day. Then he entered into the car. We made that contact. The meter revealed that there was no transmission. He dropped to go back. That he needs to draw on the insurance because he paid serious money for him to get those, those things. He has to go back and claim the insurance so that they can reignite it. That was how I had space to sit down. Oh, they, my sister called me and warned me. I said, You travel in the night, you, they will kill you one day. Say, Many men will die, but not me. I will come back. She, she looked at me and wondered, What do they? Ah, something came from heaven. Something came from heaven. Something came from heaven. It came from heaven. This wind. He came to establish the authority that was domiciled in heaven that as i move in the city of wales in the land of wales i i move with an investment that comes from heaven that no power of darkness that is situated domiciled in the land has authority over so my life becomes a principle by which the kingdom of god is extended Aish. Aish. If you succeed, that is the expectation. If you don't succeed, we are confused. How? It cannot be the word of God that it's something in your life is not right. Because even the most feeble, under the influence of this wind, we do damage the kingdom of darkness. I came today to introduce you to the third breath. The wind that came from heaven. Oh, I might take you more than you will not live here as a weakling. I, I don't know your story. And I don't need to know your story because I know the capacity. I know the potency of this wind from heaven. Oh, it came from heaven. Jesus had to go into heaven before he unleashed it. Before he released it. So that if we can walk with it. Like I said, it will give you utterance beyond your words. It will give you hearing beyond your ears. Power beyond your hands. Oh, these are the days.